Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to add and request read receipts as well as delivery notifications in Microsoft Outlook. So a delivery receipt confirms delivery of your emails, messages to the recipient's mailbox, but not that the recipient has seen or read it. And a read receipt confirms your message was opened. So in Outlook, the message recipient can decline to send read receipts, and there's other scenarios where read receipts are not sent, and maybe the recipient's email client does not support read receipts, and there's no way to force a recipient to send a read receipt back to you. But nonetheless, if you want to send them out regardless, and you know a lot of people do like to send them back anyway, I will show you guys how to turn that feature on. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by selecting the File tab, and then you want to select Options at the bottom of this list. On the left side, select Mail, and then on the right side, you want to scroll down near the bottom underneath where it says Tracking. Delivery and read receipts help provide confirmation that messages were successfully received. Not all email servers and applications support sending receipts. So for all messages sent, requests, you can check mark where it says delivery receipt confirming the message was delivered to the recipient's email server. And if you want to send out read receipts, you can check mark that second option, read receipt confirming the recipient viewed the message. And you can also go a little bit further here. For any message received that include a read receipt request, you could have it automatically send a read receipt back to the sender, or you could have it set to never send a read receipt, or you can ask every time whether to send a read receipt, which is default here. So just giving you guys different options here. And that's pretty much it. Once you're done with that selection, you will go ahead and select OK to save that. And that's pretty much it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do a buzz, it will help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.